Hey guys, welcome to your weekend edition love and general reading. This is for the element of water. Uh, so if you are Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, Sun, or Rising, these messages are for you for the weekend of February the 4th through the 6th, 2022. So I want to thank you guys for all your love and support. Please keep in mind these are general. Uh, so they may or may not resonate, but hopefully you get some clarity. Also, if you're wanting to book a personal or private reading, uh, be sure to email me for a price list if you don't already have it. Um, if you want to reach me by phone, make sure that you are registered at Bill Per Call. Request your call back. And if I don't get back to you that day, I'll get back to you within a seven-day time frame. Uh, also, be sure to check me out on Patreon for the Venus sign readings. I do those monthly. And check me out on TikTok. All right, so we have the overall energy as the Queen of Swords. We have the Queen of Wands. We've got the Three of Pentacles. We have the Four of Wands. We have the Four of Cups. The Hanged Man. The Empress. And the Page of Wands. Okay, so I feel like this weekend for you is about... Um, working together and kind of building something. I feel like you are maybe establishing a uh, trust, um, establishing stronger foundations. Um, definitely feels like people are communicating and working together, uh, putting the, bringing both qualities to the table. Um, I feel like people all have something to, to share or to give. And I feel like people are making things work. Um, I feel like you're getting along with your coworkers. Um, I feel like there is building going on in a relationship. Like there is this willingness to make something work or piece things together, finding solutions. I do feel that maybe there have been some sort of troubled waters or there's a troubled past, but people are trying to get past that now. People are moving forward and just trying to correct their errors. Um, I feel too like there is some sort of planning going on. Planning and people are making arrangements. There are discussions going on I can definitely see that there could be some sort of wedding planning or maybe someone planning to elope or maybe someone is uh, making uh, having a dinner party at their house um, but I feel like there are some sort of plans being made you may be getting ready to invite friends over or maybe invite people over for a business meeting. Even if it's something on Zoom, I just feel like something is being planned. You might be part of some sort of planning committee um, or decide to join some sort of planning committee or a group. Um, creatively, they're there could be some sort of collaboration going on between an air sign and a, and a fire sign. Um, yeah, I feel like there's some sort of collaboration going on. Maybe two people are piecing together a song, getting ready to produce a song or um, piecing together a movie or editing something together as a, as a team, as a group. Um, I feel like people are listening to each other. Now, I do feel that maybe somebody is either feeling left out or doesn't want to, I was going to say, they don't want to play. They don't want to participate. Uh, you may need to warm someone up just by being yourself, not necessarily by manipulation, or maybe give someone their space. But I feel like people are able to work things out. Now, I'm also seeing the numbers 33 and 44. So those may be some sort of uh, significant numbers for you, some sort of confirmation. I personally feel like they mean something about 
communication, proper communication, well-developed communication, clear communication, and also stability and making some sort of changes in your home or laying down some sort of foundation. Um, I, I feel like you also may be um, looking for a home or closing a deal on a home. So if you've been house hunting, I do feel like you are you know, making some sort of offer and getting your offer accepted or maybe you're past all of that and now it's just a moving in process. So either way, I feel like there is new energy in regards to a living situation. Um, I do get a little bit of mixed energies. Like one minute I have people being cooperative and then the next minute I feel like somebody is kind of stuck in their ways or not wanting to participate or follow through or they hold back like I see something coming out and you know finally getting something off of their chest or revealing a secret or opening up and then it looks like they turn right back around and kind of feel like no, I want to be left alone or that's enough or I don't want to share anymore. It could be like a little bit of both. Like, yeah, I'm, I'll share this and that felt good to talk about, but I, I don't want to share anymore. I just, okay, I'm going back inside now. Um, Definitely could just be introvert energies. I, you know, us introverts, we got to recharge. You know, it's like you go out, you make an appearance and you have fun. And then it, it's like some, that's how I am anyway, like. I shut down like that's why it's better for me to go to places by myself because if I'm with somebody that just want to stay and stay and stay you're gonna get left like I'm gonna get an attitude like I don't know what it is in me it's like I'll be on and then it's like a switch it's not even like a dimmer it just like something completely shuts off and I'm like I'm gone I gotta go you know <laughs> so <laughs> um yeah uh th that could be uh, something that's going on maybe you are an introvert you're enjoying your time out you like legit are enjoying yourself and then all of a sudden you're like I gotta go this time I've got to recharge um time to go back inside so uh definitely could be that um I'm even like that when, when people come to my house like family like that's why I like having like uh, a two-story because it's like I'm down if I'm downstairs that means I'm socializing when I go back upstairs that means I'm in my room leave me alone <laughs> I'm done <laughs> so I don't know. I kind of feel like maybe something similar could be going on. Um, now, I also get that someone is still holding on to someone emotionally. Okay. So it looks like someone got themselves out of their comfort zone. Let's say you've been single for a while, but you've been single in a way too because you were still hoping to get back with somebody else. I feel like you might be open to dating and you, you know, kind of push yourself to go out there to get to know people and you have a good time, but then you start inside. You're like, they're still not like the other person. It was a nice first date, but I don't know if I wanted, wanted to go any further than that. And so it's kind of like you may have gone out to have fun, but emotionally you're not, you're still not ready. Um, you could have just done something just to entertain yourself. Uh, so yeah, it does look like you could possibly still emotionally be holding on to someone. Um, I feel too like even after you've gotten certain things settled in your life or accomplished in your life, there are still more things that you need to do. And I feel like you need to be prepared um, before you start the next project in your life or the next relationship or the next job. It's like you're you need some quiet time. So I feel like you once you kind of get some clarity or understanding, then, you know, you'll go ahead and be released from any type of hold that you're on you're in. I do also feel like things are manifesting for you. Something has been growing or developing 
whatever your intentions, I feel like somebody put their intentions out into the universe and those intentions have been being nurtured and growing and something is about to manifest, matter of fact. So I feel like you might see a glimmer of hope or something that's going to motivate you or inspire you to let you know that something's working or to let you know that things are going to work out or that something is in alignment. Now, those of you that have some sort of a one night stand or you had a little bit too much fun, um, it is possible that you may be waiting on the results of some sort of pregnancy test. And I don't know, it might be a positive. It might be. Um, I usually don't like saying that for sure, but I'm getting something might be a positive. Um, I also feel like you are being very creative if you are into like arts and things of that sort. This also could be a good time for you to start on um, your business. If you've been, you know, kind of fleshing out some sort of business ideas or if you've been working on a website, I feel like now is a good time for you to get started or to go ahead and publish your website. Because it does look like something's been under construction. Okay, so I feel like there's going to be a meeting. Two people are going to meet. You might make a significant connection this weekend. If you're already connected to somebody, I feel like you guys are having some sort of conversation that's really moving, really enlightening. I feel like you are going to be very turned on by this person because of their intellect um, and then just finding out that you guys are just on the same page or have had a similar experience is bringing you together. Now, I do also feel that there's temptation. You may indulge in some sort of pleasures this weekend, um, like a little overindulgence. Um, maybe you're diabetic and you're not supposed to be eating sweets and you're eating sweets. Um Maybe you are trying to be celibate, but you didn't know you were going to run into this person at this party and you did or somebody's coming to visit you and you did. You're like, oh, I didn't know it was going to turn out like this. You know, so it, it does seem like you end up indulging in something that is like temptation. Um, you also might find yourself overspending or splurging. Definitely see you working on something creative as well. Um, feel like somebody is releasing their emotions or putting their feelings into their art and then sharing it with people. Um, so maybe you write a poem, maybe you do make music and you're releasing it. Maybe you wrote a story or a book. I just feel like something is being published or released or shared. Um, I feel like somebody also could be doing some sort of painting. So I don't know if you have like a canvas or if you splurge on some sort of a canvas, you're like, I bought some paint, I bought my easel, I'm going to do some painting. Definitely could be creative this weekend. A lot of artwork. Maybe you bought some candles in your, in your sense and you're making things or you're making soaps. Yeah, some of you definitely could be working from home, but it's something that you're really 
passionate about. I also feel like if you work from home and you live with somebody, your partner is definitely going to be disturbing you and disrupting you. Um, and you guys are going to be taking some some sex breaks. <laughs> somebody is also afraid to open up emotionally and it might be a situation where one person is like I just shared everything with you aren't you going to share with me what you're feeling and the other person might not be ready I feel like somebody needs to know 1000% that it's okay to let their guards down they they need like extreme reassurance. If anybody tries to communicate with you indirectly, I feel like you're going to ignore their antics until they come to you directly. It's like stop it with the whatever fake friend request. Stop it with the indirect messages that I know is directed at me. Like just come to me and say something. I feel like you're ignoring someone's feelings. You might know a story is for you or someone's trying to get your attention through one of their stories. And I feel like it's being ignored. Some of you, I see you doing some new form of meditation that's working. Hmm. I also see you like attracting, I feel like you're attracting a lot of positive energy. I feel like you are also finding your your center, you may feel spiritually awakened. I feel like you're also needing to get your um, sacral chakra or your solar plexus aligned. Mm. Uh, some of you do need sexual healing. Um, I, I feel like some of you are going to receive it, actually, but others of you are just going to have to find it in other ways, whether it's self-pleasuring uh, or some other form of meditation that helps to release that energy or, or fulfill it. Hmm. I also feel that there is someone trying to channel you or uh, like I said, they are trying to communicate with you uh, telepathically or indirectly. I feel like you're also going to start to see one of your followers in a different light. I feel like you're going to start to find them attractive or maybe they are starting to find you attractive. Hmm. 
Hmm. I feel like there's a lot of anxiety too for somebody in regards to fertility and feeling like, well, last time I had a miscarriage or last time I didn't carry full term. There's a need for you to overcome your anxieties and try not to manifest uh, that negative energy. Not saying it is your fault about any of that. Just saying that you want to nurture, put nurturing positive energies into your into your system and release anything that is negative. Matter of fact, if you are having negative energies, don't pretend like you, you don't. Um, maybe try to release, write down what you're afraid of and then just, you know, tear it up as you're tearing it up saying that you release that those negative thoughts you know just something like that um if you are starting your own business you might feel like you're struggling financially a little bit it may not take off right away but don't quit or don't give up because it does look like you want to quit immediately if you don't see some sort of instant results um, <clears throat> and then also in a love situation, I feel like there's someone who is really extremely nervous about approaching you. They might keep changing their mind. You may be learning about some sort of ability or gift that you have and maybe putting it to practice, um, whether it's reading cards, um, reading energy, um, any type of gift or talent that you have. Maybe you discover you know how to draw or sing. You definitely could be putting it to use or practicing that. Some of you are going to be practicing reading astrology charts. I feel like someone is multi-talented. Now, be careful who you get an astrology reading from. Could be tarot too, but I'm getting more so astrology. Be careful who you get an astrology reading from because I feel like somebody is pretending or someone is copying someone else's information. Matter of fact, if you are an astrologer, um, be cautious about your work that you publish. Um, maybe protect your work because there is somebody copying your ideas. Yeah. They're passing something off as their own. All right, let's pull some energy cards for you guys. All right, what additional messages are there for my water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising for this Friday, Saturday, and Sunday? We have fourth chakra archangel Raphael. We have first chakra archangel Michael. We have fifth chakra archangel Gabrielle and woman holding a coin. Okay, so I feel like you are presented with an opportunity to learn um, or to you're being called to take notice to certain um, certain elements in your body. Um, there may be a need for you to heal these chakras or 
Maybe they're blocked. Maybe they're getting activated. Matter of fact, if you are dealing with a new connection, I feel like these are the chakras that they're coming to activate within you. Um, this is the person that can do it. You know, they hold the key to helping you manage these chakras or activate them. So the fourth chakra, if you don't know too much about it, just try to do your research on it. Uh, I know that is your heart chakra. Um, so there could be some sort of um, blockages, emotional blockages, abandonment issues, trust issues, that things that you need to work on. Uh, or you are, like I said, it's being activated and you feel the need to love. Maybe there you're going to feel like an overflow of emotion. And you're like, oh, I need to share my heart with somebody. Um, your first chakra dealing with your security um, dealing with um, material things, finances, um, just anything in this material physical world and the things that give you a sense of security. Uh, also, if there are any troubles in an existing relationship, try to understand, do you know what your love languages are? You know, what says love to you? What gives you security? What could your partner do? For you that that would put you at ease so that you don't feel paranoid or insecure in a relationship if they're not giving that to you or maybe there's been some misunderstandings uh, or miscommunication so figure out what is going to give you a sense of security and comfort and trust in your relationships um and then the fifth chakra i feel like you're needing to say what you mean say what's on your mind speak communicate um, maybe you're saying too much though. So, you know, depending on your situation, hopefully you know how to address this in your life. You know, if you've been talking too much, uh, or saying too much, you know, if you're holding something in and you don't really speak, maybe even physically, you feel like a knot in your throat. Um, now if you're an empath, you also might be picking up on these energies from other people. Um, cause that can happen too. Like you feel the heart palpitations or the not seeing your throats or something tingly going down below, you know, those are, you might be picking up on energies from someone else. And someone also might be calling out to you, um, because they need you, um, or you're that person that holds the key for them. So hopefully these messages make sense or resonate, but Feel free to leave your feedback. Thank you guys for watching. Sending love and grace.